G'day Westy here, thanks for tuning in. We're going to convert a Turnigy 9X transmitter to ER9X using EP software. It's in less than two minutes, so let's get right into it. There's a few assumptions here. I'm assuming the following. You've got EP installed and configured. You've got your USB ASP programmer set up. You've downloaded your latest stable ER9X hex file. It's got to be stable, folks. And you've either installed the Smarty Parts board or you've hardwired your ECU to work with a programmer. Okay, we're going to open up EP. In the bottom right hand side, you're going to hear that beeping noise. That's okay because it's a Turnigy sending alarm that it's under the normal voltage range. Click on the orange little radio button, which is right flash to TX. Now we're going to find the latest stable ER9X hex file. Click on open. And this little box comes up saying, Are you sure you want to do this? Don't panic. You're going to panic. Yep, we're going to do it all right. Go. Okay, so the screen goes blank because it can't do any other processes behind the scenes. If you need to pause this, folks, go right ahead. I'll be right here when you get back. Okay, in the background, it's writing, and now it's comparing that file and reading it back. And if it matches, it should be all good. If it doesn't, it's going to be a custard pie, folks. And it matches. So we've got alert bad EEPROM data. That's perfectly normal. Great. Press any key to continue. And ER9X will now format its own EEPROM and give you a base setup with no other configurations. All you've got to do is calibrate your sticks and pots, and then you can go ahead and mix to your heart's consent. Get into it, have fun, hope you love the program. Thanks for joining us, and I'll show you how to do the calibrations in another tutorial. Alright, see ya.